Hello everyone, it's Krithik here from IT Rebels and today in this video we will be checking out how to connect MetaMask wallet with Wagami like we are using Wagami to connect our wallet provider MetaMask or anything so for now we are just using MetaMask but in the same time we are uh, we all know that Wagami latest version uh, have uh, replaced Ether.js with Wave, but uh, there are some uh, projects which don't use Wave, V I E M. Uh, they used Ethers, uh, and we still need Ethers in our project. So, and I face some issues while using Wagami plus Ethers. So, the to in today's uh, video, we'll be seeing how to use Ether Signer, Ethers provider uh, with Wagami. So they gave us the Ether.js adapter, like uh, we can use it uh, with Wagami. So this is how it looks. We can connect uh, our MetaMask. It's simple Wagami application, uh, like connected the MetaMask. We got the address and log out. Then uh, I just console log my uh, like signer. I get it from this, like this one and etherjs signer have this functionality like get address and connect and all so like address we have uh, so this is a button like and once you click uh, i will get my addresses cool. so this is how it works let's see the code and uh, let's uh, explain it i will explain it to you how you can also do that so we are using nextjs 13 latest app directory as you can see here uh, it's an app then I have a page and layout it, it's just a simple nextjs application as you can see here like it's the, I cleared all the main data and it's looking like this then in the page section I have connect wallet uh, component and a signer component okay or uh, and this is a server side page we have layout also like uh, we have provider like which we have created uh, and then this is where we use that provider let's see how we created this provider so this is a client side uh, component so use client side and this is how we you can like uh, use wagami uh, how you are using wagami it doesn't matter like Wagami core, Wagami provider public, MetaMask connector and chain configuration. So this is how you can create get providers, configure chain, create config and everything simple like to create something like this provider and then we are using uh, created this provider component passing a children uh, getting wagami.config from wagami core where is that wagami okay this is where we are getting that uh, passing our config like what we have created here so the auto connect is false because i want to like uh, when someone click uh, uh, on that button it will connect them uh, connectors like what uh, uh, what we want as a connector like metamask or something like uh, wallet connect or you can use any so this is how we are passing our children which we have here like this children and use this provider here to wrap these children now uh, we solve that provider functionality and this is client side you you won't get any errors like using this and if you have any other redux or any other provider just add it here wagami can config below that and this will handle all of your providers cool so next is page then signer you know like uh, for signing the message button and this is wallet connect wallet let's see how i made this connect wallet so it is a client side app component 
so we are destructuring data as like connect connectors is loading pending connector from use connect similarly hum we are we are destructuring address and is connected from use account and destructuring disconnect functionality function from use disconnect so this is a same wrapper file like this and we are using some logic ternary logic uh, to check if uh, our user is uh, logged in or not is connected or not so if they are they are not connected like this then we want to show our connectors dot map uh, all the connectors we have right so if we have like wallet connector or any other thing then we can just show display that here i think this is okay Ex good explanation for like connectors and we are using when someone click that we just provide this connect and the connector object cool then we are just displaying this and if the connector is loading like is loading and and connector dot id is equals to is equals to pending connector dot id okay so if the connector is loading and we are checking that connector id is equal to is equal to pending connector dot id means uh, if there are multiple connector buttons uh, this this condition will check uh, if this co connector is loading or not so only this connector will be get loading spinner like this is a react uh, icons uh, you can you see here like this is the react icon okay a spinner and we are using tailwind to spin that animate spin and else we just want to see like uh, if the wallet is connected then display the address in paragraph tag or uh, and give a button to log out cool this works after that we have uh, inside our page uh, our signer and also this is how we are using things like to connect our wallet and you can use uh, if you want to sign some messages you can use a uh, use sign sign use sign message hook from wagami uh, but we want some uh, like to provide a signature like main pr signature provider to any other uh, like tools which we are using example push notification use this push uh, chat use this and any other uh, tools would require ether js uh, we can provide our providers to them so this is how we are using signers so let's check out this it is a use client uh, tool then we are okay before signers uh, let me explain this how we are using this functionality like getting signers and providers so we just copied all of this cool and we just copied all of that and use uh, inside our utils folder we have created ethers.ts cool and we are check uh, importing all of that like uh, public client public wallet color get wallet client and import provider from ethers import http tra transport from vim and we are just copy pasted this code and what is this code doing like uh, to get a public provider and we just have to get a pass call this get ethers provider uh, with the chain id or if uh, we don't have chain id like then we can just do this chain id and if we don't have chain id let's say we want one so like if it haven't passed any chain id it will still work So this is how wallet uh, client to signer and get ether signer. So get, there is two things like get ethers provider or get ether signer. We are getting this from this file. 
and I just copy pasted this and made a small change like this one because if I, I don't call, provide any chain ID it will still work hmm. and to use this like ether signer or get ether provider we have to make a small adjustment this is not correct like uh, it won't work for me but for me this this works fine let's come to signer.tsx so first of all we are just importing that uh, get ether signer which we have created in ether.ts then use account from wagmi because i want to check uh, if the user is logged in uh, then and then only uh, i want this signer functionality to be valid so this is a uh, this is our component signer first we are uh, in restructuring our user ac address from use account then a small uh, use state snippet to store our signer object then we are just created a function asynchronous function which will get our ether signer and console log that ether signer make sure you have used uh, async and await they they don't have that so that's why we are doing that and we are using use effect because we want uh, it to be run on every address change or every time uh, a new address or from null to some address like when user logged in we want this so that's why when address change it will run this function again and we are uh, also checking this uh, condition like if address exists then and then only uh, our signer will call this function so how this signer works so now we have signer object uh, in this variable signer uh, now if signer exists then and don't, then only we are showing this button else we are showing a, a paragraph saying sign this sign the message to continue which is looking like this it logged out mm -hmm. okay sign the message to continue so once we click this i'm just console logging signer dot get address it is a property of signer to get an address uh, as you can see in signer etherjs.signer so this is how you can connect your etherjs uh, with your latest wagami config like wagami and your next.js application hello friends there is an update uh, like we are checking the ethers provider adapter in core section right so it is in vanilla's uh, js that's why they are not supporting uh, it's not working for me but I checked it on react and they have very good example of here you can create your own hooks uh, to for, for this etherjs uh, like provider and signers so you can they uh, they given an example of sign uh, like hooks so you can use that and just use it like this only so there is nothing to be like uh, ma making like this but it it gives you the example like how you can make it of your own but they all give they have given you the uh, code for hooks like you can create that so i hope this helps you to use it uh, next time we are using a uh, push notification and push chat and building a small decentralized application where we are using uh, user can log in with your metamask wallet and uh, and roll in some notification uh, push notification and start wallet to wallet chat so i hope you want to be a web3 developer and we are learning web3 development so if you want to learn it then please subscribe our channel and make sure you 
uh, learn every day because web3 is growing very rapidly and we want you to be the part of that so thank you and happy hacking